Hello, can you calculate 42 squared, which means 42 times 42, and do it in your head? Keep watching to find out how. Today we're going to learn an incredibly useful trick uh, that's going to give you the edge on your standardized tests, your SATs, your GREs, and also any everyday calculation where you need to square uh, a number. So what we mean by squaring a number is taking that number and multiplying it by itself. So in this simple example here, 54 times 54. Uh, so what we're going to do is illustrate the general technique. Now, in prior lessons, we've had several different shortcut techniques for taking the square of a number uh, for very special cases. We've learned how to square a number ending in 5. We've learned how to rapidly square any number in the 50s, which this lesson would also apply to. What I'm going to teach you today is a more general method that will let you square any two-digit number that you can think of. It's got a few more steps to it, but it's much more general, which makes it more powerful. So let's apply that to something that we already know how to do here from a previous lesson, which is 54 squared. The first thing you need to do is you look at the first number, which is a 5, uh, and then you go ahead and square it. So let's go ahead and take 5 squared, uh, which is going to be 5 squared. Mentally, you think about that. Fi 5 times 5 is going to give you 25. Okay, so that's sort of one intermediate answer. Next thing you look at is the second digit, which is in this case 4. So you, th you take 4 squared, which is going to give you 16, because 4 times 4 is 16. All right, so for your intermediate answer, you put these two things together, 2516, 2516. Now, that's not really the answer. It'd be really easy if that was the answer. That's not actually the answer, but it's very close to the answer. So as a first order guess to the, to the order of magnitude, this is a pretty good starting point, but it, we're not quite there yet. The next step we need to do is take these two numbers and multiply them together. So 5 times 4 gives us 20. So we take 20. The next step we do is we double this number. So the double of 20 is 40. All right. And then the uh, last step that we do here is we stick a zero in the end. So we get 400. And I know that this seems like a lot of steps, but when we do a few more examples here in a minute, it'll, it'll really come home how really simple it is when you get the hang of it. The next thing we need to do is take the 2516 that we originally had and add to it the 400. Now here is where we get to use some of our addition skills that we've learned in previous sections. So starting with 2516, adding the 4, you can see that you have 2,000. That's going to stay the same. Uh, so the 500 here added with the 400 is going to give you 2,916. We don't have any extra uh, 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 carrying or, or any spillover of digits or anything like that. So that really that's the answer, 2,916. So 2,916. All right, I want to go over these steps again just to make sure you understand. What you're first going to do is take the square of the first number, take the square of the second number, stick them together. That's pretty close to the final answer, but it's not quite there. Then you multiply these numbers together, and then you double that, and then you add a zero, and then you add them together, 2,916. I promise you, as we do a few more problems, this will become streamlined in your head, and it, you'll actually find out that it's not too bad. Okay, here's our second problem, which is 64 squared, uh, which is 64 times 64. So what I'm going to do now is, since I've shown you the technique in all of its glory in the previous problem, I'm not going to write every single thing down, because remember, this is mental math secret. So really, you should be doing uh, most of all of this stuff in your head, and hopefully every single step in your head. What you need to do is square the first digit. 6 times 6 is 36. So we think 36, and immediately after that we put 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, which is 16. So we get 36, 16 right away. That's pretty close to the answer if you just had to sort of guess a ballpark, but that's not uh, the total thing. The next thing we do is we take 6 times 4. We multiply these digits together, giving us 24. Then we double that to 48. Then we put a 0, 480, right? And then finally, we just add them together. 3616 plus 480. Now, we do have to use a little bit of our mental math tricks to do this, so let's work on that. So we have 3,000. That's not going to change. Then we go to the next digit, 616. So 3,616, we add the 400 in. That's going to bring it to 4,016, because the 600 plus the 400 give us another 1,000. So 4,016, and then we have the 80 here, so 4,096, 4,096.
six. So you can think digit by digit. We don't have any spilling over of digits here. We have 4,000. That's sort of the hardest part of the problem here. When we do the second digit here, we need to recognize 6 plus 4 gives us another 1,000. So 4,016, but then we have this 80, which goes with this digit, 4,096. And if this is a little bit too much for you, then go back and watch some of the lessons on rapid mental addition, and you'll get a lot of practice with how to do this in your head. 4,096. Now, I want to stress, I've got a lot of things written down here, but really it's not that bad because this can come very, very quickly in your head. You should look at this number and think 6 times 6 is 36, so 36, 4 times 4 is 16. So you should immediately think 36, 16. That's actually pretty close to the final answer. Next, you should and mentally multiply these 24 48 480 then take the 3616 plus the 480 do the mental math like we talked about before to add these together 4096 okay the next problem is 42 squared so we immediately look at this number and we see when I look at it and I'm, I'm using this technique I see instead of 42 I see 16 and then I see a 4 so 16 comes from the 4 times 4 the second digit, 2 times 2, is going to give us 4, was 2 squared, but you don't write it as just a 4. You have to write it as 0, 4. Get in the habit of doing that with these tricks because <clears throat> they're going to assume sort of a two-digit intermediate part here. So 1604, this is pretty close to the answer if you had to just sort of uh, guess a, a ballpark estimate. Next, multiply these guys together. 2 times 4 gives us 8. Double it gives me 16. Stick a 0 gives me 160. I need to add these two things together. 1604 uh, plus 160 and you can see from here 1604 uh, from this guy here this hundred gives us 1704 and then adding in the 60 1764 1764 is the final answer okay our next problem is 71 squared let's pick up the pace just a little bit to show you how you really should be thinking about this in your head from this digit we get 7 times 7 gives us 49. From this digit we get 1 times 1 is 1, but we write it as 0, 1, so 4901. Now this is actually pretty close to the final answer, so if we had to guess a ballpark that would be pretty good, but let's go the distance. 7 times 1 gives us 7, that, doubling that gives us 14, sticking a 0 gives me 140. So in your mental head you should think 7, 14, 140. Now let's add these together. 49, 01, 140. Add these together. 4,901, we add the 100, gives us 5,001. And then adding the 40 gives us 5,041. 5,041. 5,041. Okay, our next problem is 82 squared. So again, we work as follows. From this digit, we get... 64 because 8 times 8 is 64. From this digit we get 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. We write it as 0, 4. So we get 6404. That's a pretty good intermediate answer if we had to guess. Let's keep going. 8 times 2 gives us 16. Doubling that gives us 32. Adding a 0 gives us 320. Now let's add these together. 6404 and 320 adding in our head we have 6404 adding the 300 6704 6724 6724 6724 that's the final answer okay this will be our final problem it's 32 squared working exactly as before from this digit we get 9 because 3 times 3 is 9 so we can write that as 0 9 for the time being this digit gives us 4 so we're gonna write that as 0 4 all right, next, we multiply these two. 2 times 3 is 6. We double it, giving us 12. We add a 0, giving us 120. So now what we have to do is just add these together. 904 plus 120. All right, so 904, adding the 100 gives us 1,004. Then adding this gives us 1,024. 1,024. This is the final answer, 1,024. So I hope you realize how powerful this is because some of the other tricks have been very specific uh, to certain types of squaring problems, but this particular guy is really general. You can apply it to any two-digit number. You do need to practice a little bit because you have to hold a few intermediate numbers in your head, but once you 
do that, you can get really good at it and it can help you with a wide variety of problems. So I encourage you to grab a sheet of paper, write a few of these guys down, practice with some smaller numbers, start with maybe 13 or 17 squared and build up your uh, practice. And these kinds of things can really help you on standardized tests in your class. It can help you in the workplace. So practice them and get good at them. And I think you'll be very happy that you have this trick in your back pocket. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.